Okay, so uh, at this point, I've got about eight coats on here with a good 45 minutes to an hour between coats. Um, I'm going to stop at eight because this is a fireplace hearth for, uh, that Mike made for one of his clients. So I don't need a whole bunch of stain resistance on this one because it's just a, a hard. Um, what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit it with a, a gray scotch bright, just enough to knock down you know, any of that dust or anything that may have been on the surface. And you'll see as I do this, it's going to dull it out. So that's the other cool thing with these acrylics. If you're in a situation where that client wants a little bit more of a duller surface, uh, you can take the gray scotch bright, knock that thing down, and you'll take that super shine away, but you're still going to have your protection. All you're doing is just knocking off that little bit of shine on the surface. Um, I know that some people will use uh, powdered pumice, baking soda or whatnot. They'll sprinkle that on and rub it through. That works as well. Um, with the uh, scotch bright pad, you've got to be a little careful so that you don't leave some scuff marks. Uh, if this is too abrasive, it will leave. That's why I don't use the green ones, because uh, it will leave a little bit of uh, scuff marks in there. So after that's done, looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and now this is a, a water-based acrylic urethane floor wax. And uh, I haven't messed a lot with the, with the acrylic urethanes, um, but my understanding is they've got, they've got a little bit more scratch resistance to them, uh, a little more durable. They're, they're a little higher solids than uh, the regular acrylics are. So I'm going to start playing with them a little bit, but nonetheless, uh, the way I look at it is it's the same price as a regular acrylic floor wax. So if the urethane's got a little more power to them, then I'm going to go ahead and test them out. But same process for the wax. You just take her, put her on, run her down. So just like that there, lay another coat down just like you did with the sealers. And uh, that's basically what I, what I do for my clients in their care kit. Uh, they get a smaller bottle of that, of that acrylic wax. They get one of the microfiber pads. Um, I make them a little handle out of a one by four and some Velcro. And then they get a uh, uh, Scotch-Brite pad. So there's their care kit. And then I let them know, you know, hey, if it starts to get scuffed up, you get some different uh, marks or rings or stains and whatnot, you take your scotch bright, some elbow grease, you buff out that surface, you're going to take out all the scratches, you're going to take out the majority of any stain marks that you might have, um, and then take this here, squirt her down, squirt out your pad, wipe the thing across, let it dry for about 20 minutes, and then go ahead and put it back into use. That's simple maintenance, and uh, your homeowners typically don't have an issue with that. Um, when we give them the care kit and we tell them how to maintain it, it now becomes their responsibility to maintain their product. And then they can choose what they want it to look like, whether they want to let it get old and patinaed and worn down or if they want to keep it shiny. So instead of getting callbacks because of delamination or, or scratching that can't be buffed out without sanding or whatnot, or they're getting all kinds of stains, this, that, or the other, uh, they can maintain it themselves. When they do have issues, something that does maybe stain it or ends up being a permanent mark, uh, then they can, we can come back in, they can hire us, we can come back in, strip it down, put on a new coat, that takes out the majority of the marks, and a guy's able to do that in a matter of a few hours. So it's not a difficult process. Um, right after this, uh, we do one more coat of this, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do the stripping, not on this piece, but on another, and we'll show you how we strip that down and reseal. Um, again, hopefully this helps you guys. That's the whole intent here. Um, I don't, you know, pick your own sealer. Everybody knows I like the HydroGuard because it's got a good uh, stain resistance to it. As far as your uh, topical waxes uh, with acrylic wax, pick one that you can get local from your local uh, uh, janitorial supply house. They're going to have them in stock. Um, I'll keep you guys posted what I think after I do my tests on the uh, uh, acrylic urethanes and see what we get. Um, but it's that simple, you guys. That's my process. That's what I do. And until the cat's meow is found, and it's a simple process that works for everybody's concrete, not just this one or that one, or you've got to have a little of this, that, or the other in there to make your sealer work. This works for virtually all concrete, and it's that simple. So hope that helps, you guys.
Okay, this, this is the mantle that goes along with the fireplace that we're sealing up for Mike. And uh, I wanted to show you guys just really quick, too, uh, how easy this type of stuff with detail and whatnot is with these acrylics and the, and the microfiber pads. So we're just going to take and put a little bit of our wax on the surface. This is still wet from my passing on the, on the hearth, so I'm not going to worry about dampening it out. And we're just going to take and wipe along the surface done correctly, this is so nice because you don't leave any streak marks or anything like that, so. There you go. Nice little finish shine to the to the uh, mantle there, and, and looking beautiful.